Hello everybody, Grace Still Plays, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive. And welcome to Salton Peak. What a beautiful place. Look at those mountains, snow capped, some beautiful trees, and lovely topography as well. But what secrets does Salton Peak hold? Well, I'll tell you. This train track. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You boys liked the police chases. The other thing that I get asked for all the time, besides police chases and crashes, is trains. People keep asking me, make train crashes, cars against trains. Well, damn it, today is the day. You boys will get rewarded. Here's the patented Beam NG white truck. But what sort of fate does it have in store? Well, I'll tell you. A runaway train, or technically a subway, although, do we have any train fanatics in the group? A subway is a train, isn't it? That's why it's called a subway train. The thing that makes it a subway is the fact that it operates below ground. Isn't that right? They're all part of like a mass transit rail-based system, aren't they? Anyway, this subway will be coming into contact in a high-speed manner with all manners of vehicles. Yes, trucks, cars, and of course, school buses. What sort of horrible things will it do? I'm gonna tell you something. This subway gets up to fast speeds. Now from here, we're probably not gonna go that fast, but don't you worry. We're gonna get up plenty of speed for a whole bunch of crash compilative stuff. Prepare yourself, truck, for the pain train cometh. Literally, the pain train cometh. Blam! <laughs> Whoa, the train's coming off the tracks. Oh, Lord. Did not expect that. Oh, it is just dragging it. Look at it go, baby. This is pretty amazing. It's keeping it like perfectly in tune to the tracks. How random is that? Oh, you guys seem to like the cinematic style of you as well. So we're definitely going to try that. Now, this train here wasn't going that fast when it came into contact with this truck. So let's see if we can get it going a little bit faster. Here we go, boys. Cinematic style of you. Round and round she goes, where she stopped, nobody knows. Come on, train, do it to it, baby. Bam! <laughs> wow, I think that the camera angle changed like just as the train was coming into contact with the truck. Imagine for a moment, you're sitting in your truck, sitting on the tracks. Something's gone wrong. The engine stalled. You can't seem to start it when all of a sudden, <laughs> There she goes. There she goes. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I've decided we needed a couple of things for the next encounter. One of those things is more speed, damn it. I'm not gonna lie, we're flying. This is more like it. Hold on. Yes. Oh, where the hell did it go? Oh, it's, it's caught in front of the friggin'. Oh no. Oh yeah. Hold on, let me see if I can follow this. Oh, look at the pieces. Wow. Okay, um, first person view does not do this justice. Uh, let me go ahead and change this view. This is much more like it. Can you see it, boys? Can you see it? The distance, God, the speed on this thing is insane. Hold on, here we go. Yeah. Get it. Get that thing. Uh. Do not take crap from nobody. Come with me. Come with me, Jeep, if you want to live. Release your pieces, for you need them no longer. Is that the engine back there? That's the radiator. Wow, this thing can just plow on through. Look at the chunks. Slowly just starting to peel off of this thing. Oh, man. Oh, it's everything I hoped it would be. You know what would be awesome? Actually, you know what we need? I think we need like two of them side by side and we'll smash them in half. This is more like it. I think we're gonna get the appropriate level of destruction from this. Here she comes, baby. Here she comes. Here she comes. Yeah, rip them in half. Oh, the one's going rolling, boys. Look at it back there. Oh, we're starting to come off the tracks. Oh my God, we're coming off the tracks. Yes, it's caught under the, real, the rear rails. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> we're riding it. We're riding it. The train cannot be stopped. Oh, I was wrong. The train can't be stopped. Wait, I was wrong about being wrong. The train can't be stopped. No, the train is stopped. Or is it? I don't know what the hell is going on with the train. 
Okay, I'm gonna go and... This is, this is actually kind of Exorcist style scary. We have to take a look at what happens to these cars. Look at this. Well, Jeeps. There's a wheel over here. The topper is off. There's another wheel over here. There's another wheel over here. This thing is like fantastic at peeling wheels off. And look at this thing. This guy caught the least of it. And look at the body damage on this thing. Oh my god. It went just spinning off the wall of this little ravine here. So cool. Oh, there's, there's one of the tires right there. Ripped one of these things' tires off. I found something magical, boys. A police car stuck helplessly at the mouth of this almost Incan, I don't know, Mayan-looking cave over here that the train runs through. What could it all mean? This thing is going wicked fast right now. Let's wreck some SUVs, boys. Here we go. Get some, baby. Oh, yeah. Right through it. Look at it just bend the entire frame around the wall right there. Go ahead, bring it to the other side. Bring it to the other side of the cave. Come with me. I want to show you something glorious. Oh, there goes one of the light fixtures there. One of the little, uh, I think that was, was that a headlight or was that one of the topper lights? I felt like that was almost one of the topper lights. Sparks flying off. Unit 541 probably thinking better about his decision. Now, let's go ahead and just slow down. Hold on here. That's a lot of cave left. Let's go, uh, hold on. I want to check out to see exactly what this thing looks like now. Oh my god. Hold on. Let's go ahead and just stop this. Look at that. If you were inside of this thing, if you were anywhere inside of the passenger or dr really or driver's seat or probably back passenger seat as well, your chances of survival are probably zero because right now the floorboard would be sitting inside of your mouth. I've kind of got the SUV in a very precarious position. I don't really know what this is going to do. I'm pretty interested though. Let's slow down slightly. Oh! Yeah, baby! Yep! That's what I thought. I was hoping it would accordion, and oh my god, it did. Alright, hold on here. You can, you can stop, train. You can stop. Oh, the smoke is everywhere. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, compacted police SUV, anyone? 541 is probably going to retire after this one. This is one of those few times where whether or not you were seated in the passenger seat or the driver's seat, you've actually become one solid gelatinous entity. That's quite curious right there. If I said I didn't want a dual-wheeled SUVs in front of the train at least once, I would be lying. Here we go. Coming down the path, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to slow down a little bit more than normal for this one so we can really kind of get to see the destruction. So there's the first impact. There's the second impact. Oh, the train is loose. The train is completely loose. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, it's kind of almost back on the track. You know what? Hold on. I need to pause this for just a second. Okay, so first off, Epic destruction, everyone dies, glass and particles, tires flying everywhere. But I need you boys to look at something real quick. What the hell is this? What is this creature? It's like the Slender Man driving this thing. It's like they decided to just put some sort of odd textured being behind the wheel. Some sort of low poly dude. And if we look at the passengers, same thing. Over here we've got a young John Travolta with a giant nose. And I don't know what this really reminds me of. Maybe something like, uh, like, uh, who was the guy from Get Smart? Remember that from back in the day? The, the dude that did, uh, Get Smart? Is that too old for you guys? Was that 80s, I think it was? No floorboard here. Just kind of levitating. No big deal, though, because it still does plenty of freaking damage. Yep. It's the school bus. I'm pretty sure you knew this was coming, right? We all knew this was coming. You know what else is coming? The giant ass train. Right about here. Right about here. We'll go full speed for this. Here we go. Oh, wow. What the hell happened? Oh, the train just stopped it. Stopped it dead in its tracks. Like, literally in its tracks. But stopped it dead in its tracks. I kind of had the, tra or the, uh, the school bus so that it was set up to hit this thing over here. And man, that totally worked. It just bent the frame a little bit, but for the most part, it is totally fine. All right, it took some doing, 
but I got the school bus set up for a, like a WWE freaking clothesline. Oh, this should be freaking glorious. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is, this is the money shot right here. Can a train break through a school bus? Whoa, I couldn't even... Oh, my God. Holy crap. Look at that. Stopped. Now, I don't know if that would have happened in real life. I feel like we need to see this from this direction because... Hold on a second. Let me, let me go ahead and... Uh, let me go ahead and stop things for a moment here. Oh, look, random school bus tire just kind of hanging around. This thing hit this thing, and like a rubber band, it just slingshotted backwards. This thing just bent inward right across the bluebird transportation symbol. But other than that, man, I mean, it's standing its ground. I don't know what else to say. If you were a kitty inside, you may not be having a good time. I mean, some of the seats are kind of like, you know, like this seat right here is kind of in the lap of this seat right here. So other than a few broken femurs and stuff like that, I don't know, I think everyone might be okay. The driver would be eating some glass. Here, we'll go ahead and look at this from the perspective of the engineer. We'll see exactly what happened here so we can understand this. Wham! Right there. Right there was that hit, man just destroys the tire on this side. Did it destroy the tire on both sides? Oh, it sure did. Couple of pieces came off. The entirety of the, the entirety of the school bus bends, but that's really it. This summer, coming to a theater near you, a speeding train is out of control. A bunch of young children sit helplessly upon a bluebird school bus hanging over the water upon a bridge. What could happen? When these two behemoths meet, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. It's gonna make for a freaking fantastic beam MG crash. All right, boys, we're going full steam here. We're going full steam. Here we go, I'll slow down slightly for you so we can get it. Yeah, what a shot. There goes the school bus, there goes the train. Hold on, I need to slow down even more. Oh yeah, oh the train is a bouncing. The train is bouncing. The school bus, I think, is gonna be okay. Bye, train. Bye. Wow. Look at the interior. Look at the engine compartment of the train. Or the, man, I get these two mixed up. The school bus. Oh, it just ripped it right out the back. Some of the seats are coming through the frame here as well. Now, the way that the, <laughs> it's going into the water. No, oh, what happened? We got some glitchiness going on here. I was gonna say, the way that this subway works, is I don't think it has the same like destruction values as normal BeamNG videos. It's mostly just like a giant moving hammer. All right, boys, I wanted to save the best for last. We're out here across the cliff tops. We've got the police SUV interceptor. We've got the classic Grand Marquis style police vehicle. And then last but not least, we have the police van. They're all kind of like sitting just on the edges of the train tracks. We're gonna try to slam right through all of these vehicles and send them flying with the train. All right, boys, it's a beautiful day to wreck some vehicles. There's the first one. See ya. There's the second one. There's the third one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're gonna stay. Are they gonna stay? Oh, it's gonna catch on the tree. Oh, I thought it was gonna catch on the tree. That would have been awesome. I think it's just gonna kind of catch on the ground. That's interesting. All right. Wow. Holy crap. I can't believe these two basically made it. Look at this thing. The edge of the train is just sitting on the inside of the Grand Marquis style police vehicle. Over here, where the hell did the other car go? I don't even know. Is it in the water or something? I'm pretty sure we shot them straight off here. Hold on, let me let me see if I can find this thing. Where are you? Where the hell did you go? Where? Oh, oh, oh! I think I found it. Oh God! Oh my God! Look at the twisted wreck that happened over here. I think it's still possibly moving. Oh, it's moving, all right. As in the tires are spinning. That's about it. Anyway, boys. We did some crashing with the train, but I'm sure there's plenty more left to do with it. Feel free to always make those suggestions on the different things that we can do in BeamMG, and I'll be sure to try and make the videos for it. I'm not gonna lie, 
making train videos is a pain in the ass because this thing never wants to behave appropriately. But damn it, it can do some pretty cool crashes. Anyway, guys, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.